Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News at Noon starts now. A new task force has officially launched, hoping to combat car thefts like the one you see here. Several local law enforcement agencies banding together now to make this happen. And it's because car thefts are up around 30% in the metro compared to last year. And with the popularity of social media how to's like the Kia Challenge, that number is expected to rise. Let's get out to Rod Maloney and Rod officers saying this is a serious problem that's plaguing their communities. Well, yes, uh, Jason, Detroit PD, Garden City, uh, Redford, Livonia, Dearborn, Dearborn Heights, MSP, they've all got this new automotive task force, auto theft task force. In fact, we're going to show you some vehicles right now, a number of vehicles, a Lexus, a Chrysler, uh, a Ford, and a GM pickup. Uh, we're all there, and these were stolen vehicles that this task force has picked up over the last week. And they say that the problem is getting much, much worse, uh, th leading to uh, problems like live chases. Police officers trying to chase these vehicles down. They say they're at that place where they have to stop these chases anymore because there are just too many of them. They say there are chop shops everywhere and real issues that they're trying to solve here. And so not only that, the prosecutor's office has put a special prosecutor on this as well. So the Dearborn police chief, Isa Shaheen, talked about what this means to just the average person who gets their vehicle stolen. When you take someone's means of transportation away, it's an attack on both their lives and their livelihoods. Losing a vehicle is a traumatic event that has ripple effects throughout a household and the entire community. This partnership is about prioritizing economic and personal security of the people we serve. Now, this is uh, a steel wheel, uh, steel wheel lock that is given out by Hyundai and Kia because they have a problem with their vehicles that are apparently very easy to steal and among the most stolen in the area. So if you go to your local police department and you own one of those vehicles, you can get one of these for free. We talked to them today and all of those police departments say that they have them so you can pick up the phone and call and you can drop by the PD so you can prevent your vehicle from getting stolen in the future. Reporting live in Detroit, Rod Malone, Local 4. Yeah having to go old school to keep those cars where they're parked. All right, Rod. Police in Southfield now have a suspect in an early morning shooting there. It happened around 2 o'clock at the Radisson on Telegraph. When police arrived, they found a 25-year-old Detroit man shot. He was quickly rushed to the hospital where he's critical. Detectives say a 32-year-old person in Oak Park is now a prime suspect. Cuts are coming to Gross Point Public Schools after the board voted 4-3 to three to approve $4.6 million in budget cuts last night. Between 4 and 15 teachers will be laid off. That final number still depends on how many teachers retire or leave the district on their own. People working in central administration like communications are expected to be let go. The district is partially blaming declining enrollment for its financial woes. Coast Guard teams desperately searching to find that missing sub with five people on board. NBC News' Kristen Dahlgren takes a look now at the submersible Titan and what it's like to explore the Titanic's wreckage. Search crews racing against time to find that missing submersible after the U.S. Coast Guard confirmed overnight that underwater noises have been detected in the area. The sonar buoys that found the noise is part of a massive search effort that would face a challenging rescue. Very few vessels and instruments are able to work at such extreme ocean depths. The Titanic sits 13,000 feet under the sea. That's more than nine times the length of the Empire State Building. Only a small group of people have ventured that far. It's part of the reason why Ocean Gate Exploration pitches passengers a once-in-a-lifetime experience for the price of $250,000. An eight-day journey from Newfoundland to the Titanic wreck site, about 900 miles off the coast of Cape Cod. OceanGate CEO Stockton Rush, one of those on board the Titan now, told NBC in 2022 passengers have to do more than pay a steep fee. This is a real expedition. We have you know all kinds of challenges. Former passengers say you have to sign a massive waiver that right up front says the trip can result in death. Once passengers board the support ship, OceanGate provides a vessel orientation and safety briefing. Roger, platform ready to dive. The submersible's controls are quite basic. We run the whole thing with this game controller. The vessel detaches and starts to submerge. You feel somewhat like you're on a totally different planet as you descend. 
It takes about two and a half hours to travel over two miles deep under the sea. Passengers describe the vessel as cold, with only one porthole to allow passengers to look outside at just over 22 feet long and 8.3 feet high. This photo shows the seating configuration in practice. Passengers on the floor barefoot. So what if nature calls on the roughly 10-hour mission? There is a small bathroom with a privacy curtain, and Ocean Gate says they turn the music up loud. The up-close and personal view of the Titanic wreckage can last four or five hours. Passengers who have reached these depths, an exclusive club. More people have gone into space, but going this deep underwater is actually technologically harder to engineer. This incident is causing the broader tourism industry and especially extreme tourism to be looked at under a, a close microscope to say, are we doing everything we can? Are we minimizing risk? Wow, uh, that was Kristen Dahlgren reporting there. Let's go back to those sounds that were heard early this morning. Now, it was picked up by sonar and officials are saying they think these are banging sounds that have been heard at 30 minute intervals. The US Navy is now sending a deep ocean salvage system to help with this rescue operation as time ticks down. Today, those with suspended Michigan driver's licenses can get assistance getting those driving privileges back. The Road Restoration Clinic in Detroit helps drivers get back behind the wheel. It's happening right now and goes until 6 o'clock at Goodwill Industries of Detroit. Pre-registration was highly recommended, but it's not required. A former bank building being transformed, and it's all part of a multi-million dollar uh, project. The Security Bank and Trust Building on Trenton Road is being redeveloped by Southgate Tower into a new residential complex. There was an open house earlier today to see the work being done on the Downriver landmark. Today at 5, we'll hear from one owner about what this investment will mean for that community. All the sunshine and sunlight <laughs> you could ask for in one day. That's because we're celebrating the old summer solstice today. Brian Sherman mm -hmm. in with the weather forecast. Hey there, Jason. Absolutely plenty of sunshine today for the unofficial start of summer. It's going to look or the official start of summer. I should say it's going to look and feel like it, but also keeping eye on the air quality today and air quality alert remains in effect until midnight tonight for most areas along and south of M59 is the pollutant levels today are going to be in the um, unhealthy range for those in sensitive groups with asthma and elderly people. Tower cam over at Metro Airport. Plenty of sunshine and a hot day to be out there on the tarmac. Already 81 here in Detroit. 80 working into Ann Arbor. 80 right now over in Lapeer. And 79, one of the cooler spots working into Monroe. Plenty of sunshine after mainly clear skies last night and early this morning for almost the entire state. This trend continues as we head into this afternoon. We'll top out into the low 80s this afternoon. Mid 80s for some as well with an isolated shower possible, but better chances for showers and storms arrive by the end of the week. I'll time out when that umbrella is going to come in handy. Your complete 41 forecast coming up in just a few minutes.